As many of you guys know, I wore hearing protection all season long on every single hunt that I went on. So today we're going to be talking about the hearing protection product that I used, but I want to let you guys know that this video isn't going to be me spieling off facts and technicalities of the product and trying to sell you on it. That's not my goal here. My goal here is to talk about an issue that duck hunters have and it's not wearing hearing protection. I don't care if you use this product or if you use this product or if you use cotton balls in yours. I don't care. I just know that duck hunting will give you hearing loss if you don't use hearing protection. Plain and simple. Gunshots cause hearing damage and loud calling in the blind causes hearing damage. Calling in the blind can get up to 125 decibels. So that's above the level of hearing damage. So just let that settle in for a minute. It's not just the gunshots because we all know gunshots cause hearing damage. If you go to the range, go to shoot clays, you're gonna put your plugs in your ears. Like it's common sense. Why do we not do it when we duck hunt? Well, I think I know the answer to that question. I'm sure you guys do too. So when you're wearing hearing protection, the worst thing is your calling sounds horrible to yourself. You can't tell if you're calling right. You also can't hear the birds working. You can't hear the whistling wings. You can't hear the quacking, the chuckles. You can't hear the geese with the big, like, whoop, 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 when they're buzzing their wings over top. Like, that's what happens when you wear just foam earplugs or maybe sometimes other electronic hearing protection. So, the product that I use is called the Tetra Alpha Shields. These are the 60s. They have a 60 and a 90. You guys can go over to the website and check out the differences. I'm not gonna go into that today. So I'm gonna give you guys just a quick look at these things. These are in-ear electronic hearing protection, okay? They've got little exchangeable tips, so you can use the different tips inside the case. You get the kind of marshmallow ones, and then you also get the silicone ones. I prefer the silicone ones myself. So you got different sizes and different types to fit your preference. They are powered off of little hearing aid batteries that are in that door. So you just slap them in that door. Once you shut the door with the battery in it, the device turns on. And then you can also change it between three audio levels. This door is also a button. So when you press the button, you can adjust the audio levels. It goes up and you hear beeps. So it'll beep once for the lowest setting, beep twice for the middle and beep three times for the loudest. So. Very simple, easy to use. The batteries last about 60 hours, so I didn't have to change them out all that much. This little case that they come in, they, I mean, they also come in this big case when you order them, and then they come with the tips in this thing here, and then they also have this for the Alpha Shields themselves. The case holds the extra batteries, so these are little hearing aid batteries. You just fold that little piece over, and it goes in that case. You can just slap it right into wherever you put it in your blind bag. Pretty simple. Why do I like the product? I am absolutely in love with it and I will recommend it to anybody and everybody who asks me about it. It's not because I'm getting paid to use the product or sell you on the product. It's because I genuinely like the product and as a duck hunter, I respect all of the hard work that's gone into it to make it such a premium experience for me. I've used other electronic hearing protection and I've used just normal foam plugs and these things blow those out of the water. And so with the Alpha Shields, I can talk to people in the blind, I can call and hear myself calling and it sounds natural and I hear the birds work and I hear the quacks, I hear the wings, you hear everything with it. So all I gotta say is do something about it. Wear foam plugs, wear cheaper electronic hearing protection, or you can invest in Tetras. I don't care what you do, just wear hearing protection because going deaf sucks and you can't reverse it. Now the price tag on the Tetra Alpha Shields in the 60 series, they're about $700. So let that settle in for a minute. It's an investment. You're not gonna lose them. You're not gonna break them. You got extra batteries. Like, it's a solid package, you get what you pay for. It's a premium experience. So if you wanna save 10%, there's a coupon code in the description. It's Outdoor Limits 10, and there's a link down there as well. Use that code, save 10%, and get you some Alpha Shields. Now they come in different models. They've got the Alpha Shields 60s, which is what I've been using. They work great, the wind noise isn't bad. Like, everything about it is perfect. No complaints whatsoever. 
but they also have the 90 series. They've got extra little doodads and then they've also got the custom ones where they map your ear and make them custom fit to your ear. But I'll let you guys go over to the website and check those out for yourself if you wanna know the technicalities of those. All I gotta say is I absolutely love the Tetra product. I will use it on every single hunt. It's made it to where I want to wear hearing protection because gunshots, after wearing hearing protection for like three months and then um, a gunshot goes off without the hearing protection in, you actually feel how bad that gunshot hurts your ears. Because like, it's something I never noticed before. Like when I was hunting without hearing protection, I would never notice how loud the gunshots were. But since I started wearing hearing protection, it's pretty crazy. And I'm glad that Tetra reached out to me to help support the channel and gave me such an awesome product to use and review and talk about. If you guys have any further questions about the product, feel free to leave a comment down below or you can head over to the Tetra website, read all about it or reach out to the Tetra guys themselves. They will be more than happy to help answer some of your questions about their products. Duck Hunter to Duck Hunter here, 110% worth every penny you spend on them. But uh, the reason why they're expensive is one, there's been a lot of research and development going into them, but they also use very uh, high tier products on the inside of them. So like the capacitors and all the fancy electronics inside of it, they have a special target optimization to where like it knows if a gunshot's going off or it knows if duck calling is happening. So it dampens those noises and doesn't keep them loud in your ears. So there's, there's a lot of technology that goes into these that I can't fully explain. That's why the website's really good for that. But these things are so expensive because of the technology and the programming and all the efforts that gone into it to provide a premium experience for the users. It's pretty much using the same components as hearing aids. So hearing aids are over a thousand bucks. So, you know, that kind of makes these things a thousand bucks as well. That's, I think that's all I got to say about that. I'll let, I'll let that settle in and let you guys think about it and chew on it a little bit. Like I said, I'm not here to sell you this. I'm here to sell you on putting things to protect your hearing into your ears when you're out in the field. That's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Follow me on my social media and I'll catch you guys on the next one.